This is my mixed African cichlid tank. You see, I have quite the collection, I believe. Just threw that background wall in there a few days ago. The fish really have seemed to pop out in color against it. When I first put it in, I did not like it at all. There was a sea foam green wall behind it that looked fairly cool. But I went ahead and threw it back in, and so far, so good. I think I kind of like it. It's different, unique. But I don't know. I'm getting a 150. That's a 55 right there. Then I have this tank here, which would be a 29 bow. And I have my attempt at cichlids in there, which I will be transferring to the 55 once I uh, get everything out of there. Got a Midnight Angel. Oceanic Green. The video is doing it no justice. I have that orange and white one right there. I forget what it's called. It's actually one of my favorite. And then I have these dwarf cichlids right here. I don't quite know the name. Anybody wants to comment and help me out there? That'd be awesome. Blood Pigeon coming up. I know like the Crebens is right there on the left. But I have two of uh, those guys and then you know, of course, some clown loaches sleeping on their sides. That mid midnight angel, I think it's called. I'm pretty positive. Blood pigeon, oceanic green, and question mark. Really, is a sharp looking fish, man. Look at that. I think they're gonna get fed. I've only had them. I don't know. I'd say a week. They're top trained already. Eat at the top out of my hand. Great, great, great looking fish. And then I have a gold nugget L19 Plucko in here somewhere behind that driftwood, which you're having a hard time seeing because of the reflection of my damn other tank. He is a beautiful fish, also, as well. Down here, got some red resboras or whatever albino rainbow shark and these monsters here meet gorilla zo and his girl we'll just say that we'll, we'll be polite now I got this pair because and I say pair because as you see over there are a few of their fry the other are at my shot keeper but these are larger spot uh, formerly known as bleakery but now they reverted back to P. Polini large spot and when they say that they're not referring to the spots on the side they're actually referring to the breeding spot that shows when they're getting ready to do it and that's right halfway down like the dorsal fin, right about where that yellow ends right there. But, yeah, man. He's, he can't be but six months old. And he's like a monster. A monster. But that's because I do water changes, water changes, water changes. And I take care of my tank. Water changes, water changes, water changes. Feed, feed, feed. I mean, look at how wide he is. That is just a gorgeous fish. And to know that he's classified extinct and they bred, that's amazing to me. People try for 10 years to get a mating pair of Madagascar cichlids. P. Polini, P. Bleakery, you know, what have you. And me, I get one thrown in my lap because he needed tank space for his new arrivals. So I got that pair right there for, I believe, $15 for both. Yes, sickening, I know. 
And there, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Wanda. That fish right there just really pisses me off, though. You know? You pay 50 bucks for a fish, and you hope it colors up better than that. He has his good days, though. So, gets real, real yellow head. Gets a, almost like the yellow flame tail. That's my boy right there. With a little nip out of his tail. That is my dude. Of course, the fire, corporate curl is fire crest. Pretty sweet fish, and I've always been an Ethel Winnie fan. Rostratum. There's that yellow coming out in his head. And then the, what is it, Nagara Flame Pail. The dude that just shook his head at you. It's a Masabi Creek Lethernot, believe it or not. And I have not seen colors out of those type of fish on any site ever. Now, I work extremely hard, that's two of them right there, at getting this color of these fish. Do you see Ghostface Killer right there? Yeah, I work hard. I feed a regiment of food. I don't just grab some tetra cichlid flake and feed them it every single day. I feed them live food one day, chopped up krill another day. Duh, just the it goes on and on and on. Yeah, yeah Ghostface Killer took a spine to the eye the other day. But there's my tank. There's my red tail shark that no one, everybody said I couldn't put in unless it was raised with him. Well, he lost his dorsal fins in a couple times, and then I think they accepted him, so he's pretty cool. You got my Eureka albino Eureka red, I believe. I don't know, I'm not quite sure, but I'll just tell you what: those Masabi Creek Lethenops are really impressing me. I'm a, they're, they're no green cap leather knob or red cap leather knob, but hey, they're a peaceful fish. They're cool. They like the kind of like the Ethel Wayne's. They stay together here. That fish is gonna be sick when it gets older. It's a F1. I saw its parents. They are beautiful fish. When I say beautiful, I mean like damn. I had to have one as soon as, as soon as they bred. So I've had that fish for quite a while. Yeah, tank's dirty. Red fin pleco there. But, what are you going to do? It's first thing in the morning. I just fed. Let them eat their food. Digest it before I get in there. Start tearing them apart. You feel me? Look at the color on that dude. I mean that is that takes work, ladies and gentlemen. You know, and all these other fish keepers out here I know can vouch for me. Because I know their fish didn't look don't look the way they look without a heavy regiment of high quality food. And water changes, water changes, water changes. Can't stress it enough. Cannot stress it enough. And you can see, look. I mean, I'm only running at 78.8. I bumped this bad boy up to 82, 83. And the colors come out sick. I mean, I'm talking. They look like total different fish. Rostratum means crooked beak, crooked nose. Just like, you know, Mbuna means rock dwellers or fish of rocks. Interesting but useless fact, I guess. But if you're watching this video, it's because you care and you have a passion for fish just like I do. You're probably nodding out to it right now. Get you a couple more shots of. The beast, gorilla though, that's a 40 long there, so I mean, that's no small fish. 
and I just got them in midsummer. So it's December, six months maybe. I have a lion fleco in there. I forget what it's called uh, exactly. You know them, the fuzzy looking ones. All I see is that tail 90% of the time. So, but look how it's fuzzy. That's that's crazy. I don't know if this Note 3 camera will pick it up. Because my good buddy, who has several YouTube channels, was supposed to record for me. Never did, so now I'm using my Note 3. But look at this. They don't get along. Like, See that spot right there on her back dorsal fin? Now she's darkening it up, so she's losing it. That's what they refer to. Now, look at that. He's a monster. I wish I had some crickets to feed him, because... It's like fishing with Jimmy Houston, baby. He hits him hard. And like I said, proven breeding pair. I have a male and two females in there I kept for myself. The rest are at, rest are at the fish store. And these bad boys are going to make me some money.